Alyssa needs help again. Please! Help me now! Alyssa, are you okay? Let me help you down. What that shit, Max? Whatever you do, I have to get out of the way. So just get... No! Come on. Find some way to help Alyssa.
How can I get out of here? If we can make it out of this, Chloe. Don't fail me, Fusebox. I just need to switch on the electricity to activate the sprinkler. Ugh. This makes me so sad. He's dead. Electrocuted. I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear me. Damn, I'm stuck here unless I put out this fire first. I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear me. Please, please, please. Come on! You have to get out of here right now! I need to breathe. Uh, I need air. Uh, this can't be the end. You should get out of here! Dying. Okay, I better hurry to the diner over there. I need Warren's photo.
the monsters are actually the people here. of the world, but not if I can change it. I wish life was back to simple eggs and bacon. Damn, this is blocked off. Now I have to find another way into the diner. Damn, this is blocked off. Now I have to find another way into the diner. Nobody's going to starve in here. The emergency broadcast system. Trust me, I'm trying to figure out how. I swear. System is now in effect. Go get him, Julia. So glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? Two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out there. I know. There. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. I'm so Hello. glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, it makes two of us. Now, if only I had Rachel back. Now, Max, what about that info I gave you? Did you and Chloe find out what happened to her? Oh, Frank. I don't know how to say this, so... I just will. Rachel is dead. God, no, please. Please, no, no, not Rachel. She can't fucking be. Are you, are, you, are you sure? I mean, how do you know? We used the names you gave us to track down a farmhouse. My professor, Mark Jefferson, has this creepy photo torture room. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck, I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick... 
punk. Papadou hated him. Yeah, you saw. You saw Rachel. Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson, and he... he killed her. How? Hmm. How did he kill her? He used some drug and gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is, is if I sold it to him. I killed my lioness. No, what have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's going to jail. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel, oh God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me, just, just not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. I know. She obviously cared about you, Frank. Now, Rachel cared about a lot of people. Especially Chloe. But, uh... Now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid, I still think you're weird. But you're cool. Please be okay, It's Chloe. good to have Frank on our team. Come on, Max. Let's talk over here and give Frank some rest and space. Joyce, how are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Where's Chloe? I... I'll find her. Not in this storm, you won't. And you're not going out there, Max. I just have to pray that Chloe and David will hold up something safe. I'm sorry about all this, Joyce. Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this tornado on your own. Um, I mean, I'm also sorry about everything with David. You don't have control over any of that. David is an adult, and he has a lot more age and experience under his belt. No one showed it. I'm sorry I caused so many problems with David and Chloe. You did the right thing. David overstepped his bounds. I had a suspicion he was taking his private surveillance way too seriously. But he's sorry. And I wish he was here right now. I just want our lives to be normal again. With all the shit going on this week, I think you're right. And look at me, trying to keep my family together. Again. Max, did I make a mistake kicking David out? David saved my life from the storm. He means well, even if he doesn't know how to show it. But this has to be your choice. I'm so happy David was there for you, but I don't always like his attitude either. Sometimes, he scares me. I know it's hard for you and Chloe. I'm used to my life being hard. Chloe had to find out way too early. And I, I don't think we need David around to keep reminding us. You're right, Max. I think I'm making my choice now. See you.
Come on, Max. Just one. She's safe, Joyce. She just sent me a text before my phone died. Oh, thank God. I was torturing myself before you showed up. Oh, God, if something happened to Chloe while well, I ended up stuck at this diner again. I'm sorry about all this. Don't be, honey. Um, you don't. I'm sorry. You did the right. I just... Was all... David saved my life from the storm. I saw how much he cares about Chloe. Even if he couldn't show it, David needs you more than ever. And I can see why you love him. I'm so happy David was there for you. He has a lot of weight on his back from the war, but he truly wants to help people. He even agreed to take a family counseling class. I'm sure that was a hard thing for him to do. It shows how much he truly cares about you and Chloe. Nothing would make me happier than for David and Chloe to make peace, not war. But I don't know what to do anymore. I just... I just want this storm to blow over forever. Maybe it's time we leave Arcadia Bay. If we can. David is a real hero, Joyce. I know that all he wants to do is make you happy. I know he would do anything for you. And Chloe. I know. And yes, he's not William, but that's okay. He's not supposed to be. You reminded me of when he came into my life. I was ready to give up. David's love gave me strength. He even told me I was his hero. And I can't give up loving him. I want him to come back home. Oh, I hope I get to tell him that soon. Focus on the people here. At least Frank still has Pompidou at his side. This is not where I want to die. It's so hard to believe people were eating breakfast here only a few hours ago. to do nothing. This is where I convinced Chloe I could rewind time. So what's the point of this power? What's the lesson? To keep fixing what I keep fucking up? No, because I didn't ask for this gift. But I, I was able to stop Mark Jefferson and now, I can stop Chloe from dying. For the last time. I can't seem to escape the two ways. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. You should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. I can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah. You're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. 
You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? I have to go back in time. Jefferson already k killed Chloe. I can't let that happen. I have to do something, Warren. Max, going back in time is what caused the storm. All because... because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. What happened with Jefferson? Did... did he hurt you? Nathan accidentally killed Rachel Amber trying to impress Jefferson. Nathan just needed mental help. And now he's dead. And Jefferson is done. Jesus, Max. I want the whole story, but... I guess we really are out of time. But I can still change things. What do you think will happen? For every action, there's... There's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or... Or alter time, Maybe you caused a chain reaction. Even in the environment. You're my friend, Warren. You believe me, right? I... I haven't told anybody else except for Chloe and... And she can't help me right now. I know I can be a pain in the ass and... And you've always treated me like a person. Not... I'm a beta nerd. I, I told you before that I'll always believe you. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you? So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Focus on the people here. Hey, be careful out there. I could use a hug before I do this. <laughs> Me too. Better go before I get pathetic and tell you not to. You're not pathetic. You're one of my heroes. And I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. For this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me, too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry, be Warren. Connected to Rachel. Let's go. Now. Chloe, wait! Listen! I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once! Fine, Max. I'm listening. 
Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan and he killed him. Then it's Jefferson's turn to die now. I understand why you don't want to do this, and I won't blame you for not coming with me. Chloe! Chloe knows I have this power. She has to believe me now. Well, excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never- Chloe, you can't get revenge if you're dead. It doesn't matter. I have to make Nathan pay for what he did to Rachel. And I know you've got my back. Chloe! Man, she just won't listen. Excuse me. Nathan is dead. That fucker... Because... Will you please... Chloe... Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I. Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. No, not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying. And you, you asked me to end your life. I did. For you, I, I didn't want you to suffer in any other timeline or reality. I, I, I couldn't bear the thought of you in any more pain. God, Max. That must have been... It must have been awful for you. I'm, I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's, that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. 
Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you, but I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. <laughs> 